welcome back to the training on Microsoft Azure AZ Fundamentals, right? Uh, in this lecture, we will deploy a container instance using Azure portal. So I have logged into my Azure portal using my credentials. And now I'm on my home page in the portal. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's use the top bar and search for container. The first one to appear is container instances. So let's select that. And uh, currently we have no containers defined and that's pretty much self-explanatory, right? This is a brand new account. So let's select create container instances or we could also select add a uh, plus create here, right? On the top here. So let's go out and so let us create a container instance. Right now we are in the this wizard where you can create a container instance to deploy a container instance you need a valid subscription as as you know for all the resource which you want to deploy you want a valid subscription so I'm selecting my MSDN subscription select a resource group I have my resource group already so I'll go ahead and select my resource group if you do not have one go ahead and click on create new and give it a name and click on OK. Right now, let's give a container name. We need to give a name. So I will use AZ900 container. All right, it, it is giving me a green tick, which means it is a valid use. You need to select a region. I'm happy with East US. If you want to use other other region go ahead and select that it's source right what's what's an image source? for example uh, we have quick start image azure container registry docker hub or other registry right so these are the pre-built uh, quick start image uh, so these are the pre-built images uh, made available by azure itself so that we can test azure container instances right the next one is Azure Container Registry. It is also another great service that you can use Azure Container Registry Service or ACR in order to store your container images in Azure, right? So let's see what, what are the available images now. Let's select the quick start image. That's a default. We have image here. We need to select an image. So we have three different types of images here. So we have a simple hello world application so we also have a sample linux web based uh, uh, web web server and it is uh, this is made on linux again and we have another one sample windows web server right so let's continue with a simple aci web server hello world server uh, i mean hello world application and you can see here we have the size right so we have one virtual CPU and this is going to be used for uh, this application and 1.5 gigabits of memory. And we could also, of course, change the size. Let's so let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you want the number of CPUs change, uh, you, know, you can go ahead and do that. The number is one limited from one to four. You can select any, any number between one to four. The memory is uh, between 0.5 to 16 and GPU type, you can select from this family, right? Once you are uh, selected, click on OK, but I'm happy with the default one. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Next, let's go to networking. Now, uh, this is really important. That is the uh, networking type public private and none right as this is a web application that we are deploying inside a container well uh, once the container is deployed we can test the access right so i want the networking type to be public so that we can connect to it from our laptop or the internet right so the dns name label so this is very important uh, this has to be globally unique right so let's say that uh, this has AZ 900 dash container 
dash your your initial or something let me give it as ylm so this is available for me so let's move on with this option so let's move on to the advanced tag now I'm, I'm leaving this as a default let's go to tag if you want if you are interested in adding any tags go ahead and do that but I'm not interested in doing that so let me go ahead and click on preview plus quick so final running and validation so now let us see running final validation all right now let us go ahead and click on create here so this will take a couple of minutes to get deployed let's wait for a couple of minutes and see what's there in for us right all right here i am after a couple of minutes right uh, later and i can see the deployment is complete now i can go back to the resource and uh, now I am on the AZ900 container page, as you can see. Now very first, uh, so taking a look at from the top, here's the resource group, status, it is running, location, east US, right? Subscription and subscription ID, tag, OS type, it is Linux based, and IP address, this is the IP address, the FQD1, this is the uh, URL which is used to access this particular container right so we have one container running and I will now copy uh, to the clipboard this one uh, FQDN and let's open it in the new tab right so let's say paste and go right And here is the actual web application running inside my container, right? So this is a really simple web application running a static website running inside my container. And of course, in the real world production environment, you would first need to create the container image and then you can run it in Azure. But for this demonstration, we have used the pre-built container image that is made available by Azure. Right, so this is how you can deploy a container in the Azure platform, and this is how you can uh, access the FQDN by using the URL. I hope you learned about the container instances. So that is it for the day. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.